welcome back to my channel. For today, we are going to be doing part one of my spring decorate with me. The room we're gonna be tackling this afternoon. I just got back from the gym and I was like, I'm so excited. I ate a really quick lunch and I'm diving right into today's video to get started in decorating everything. Just adding nice soft touches. You guys know I am a neutrals girl, but I always like to add different textures and warmth and cozy vibes, whether it be for holiday decor, whether it be for seasonal decor. I also popped into Trader Joe's yesterday and I picked up some fresh florals. I feel like having fresh flowers during this time of year, spring transitioning into summer, just makes your home a lot more special and you can smell the fresh florals while having it all around your home and then part two we will be focusing on my kitchen which I'm going to be filming tomorrow so that one will be up the following week of this video if you are new here I would love it if you consider hitting that subscribe button don't forget to hit the notification bell so you know when I post my weekly videos and then of course because Easter is in the springtime I'm going to be incorporating little bunnies I just love adding little pops of that I found this super cute one actually at home goods the other day like how cute I could not not go home with him my two-year-old is obsessed with him and she thinks it's her newest little pet but I thought it was a really pretty like neutral type of bunny and I love the 3d effect like his ears here have like this furry cloth so super soft and then my favorite detail definitely has to be the little cotton tail this little guy was only $19.99 so he's definitely being added into my collection along with the other details so if you guys are excited and ready for some spring decor inspiration to incorporate into your own homes then be sure to keep on watching I think I might be hooked on you I love the things you said you said to me to me it seems like you like me too we can take it slow make sure we do this right So as you can see, I actually picked up this newest vase that I thought was perfect to put some fresh florals that, as I mentioned, I picked up from Trader Joe's. I just love the blush-toned roses, and then with the baby's breath, it's just this screaming spring. It's nice, soft, feminine, subtle touches in your home that make such a difference. So I'm just going to kind of see if I need to trim the stems, kind of how I'm going to place them. Since this is a very large vase, I actually didn't need to do any cutting, so I'm just taking them all out and then going to be placing them within the vase for a little arrangement. Plans to be with you tonight, tonight So just sit with me Talking to the night until the morning Building chemistry I don't think I ever want to go come closer next to me Trying to find another way to say this But I think, I think We were meant to be once I was happy with the arrangement and how everything was kind of placed within the vase, I went ahead and transitioned it over to the coffee table. And since it was blank, ready to go, this was of course going to be the largest statement piece. And then I was just going to be placing decor along the sides, arranging it to go together. So as you'll see, a couple of the pieces that I already had, such as the coffee table books, I like to keep all year round. But the way I like to switch it up is whatever I'm going to place on top of those. Capri in the back, you see there, she's trying to add her own personal decor core to the coffee table and then I'm going to add um two different options let me know down in the comments which you like best so option one was to use this large wicker um, bunny on there very neutral takes up a large variety of space or option two I just use this marble knotted detail and then I'm placing two of these stone little bunnies kind of clustered together so let me down the cop and let me know down in the comments if you like option one or option two on you I love the things you did you did for me for me it seems that you're dropping clues there's no need to rush so let's just take then just finishing off this side with pillows I already had. Um, I did purchase those newer, larger ones, but I think I'm going to keep them all year round because they were just perfect and neutral. And then for this corner here, I found this very large planter. Home Goods is the place to purchase, you guys. This same one was like $200 plus on like Pottery Barn. We got this one for only $74.99. And because my fiddle leaf tree wasn't that tall, I used any box, any cardboard box that you have to add height. This actually isn't the tree that will be saying I just just got an olive tree and I am obsessed. It looks 20 million 
million times better, but for temporary reasons, I had placed that there. But since then, it has transitions into my newest tree. And then for the fireplace, same thing, keeping it very subtle with some wood candle holders. These same thing you can use for all year round, switch out the candles that you place on top of your fireplace. Like for Christmas, for example, I did emerald green, but for springtime, I wanna keep it light and bright with some white and ivory. Dropping everything cause you're stuck on my mind, my mind So just sit with me, talking to the night until the morning Building chemistry, I don't think I ever want to go come closer next to me Trying to find another way to say this but I think then you guys already know my ultimate favorite hack for doing any type of wallpaper if you do have to place your TV above your fireplace as I do for spacing reasons. I go in there, there's free wallpapers. The vintage spring one is my favorite. I use it every spring season and it kind of transitions into different portraits which just go beautifully. We were meant to be. And then next up for the entryway table, I'm going to be decorating it, of course, for a little more transitional spring, things that can go all year round as well. And I'm just changing out the vase that I previously had, and I'm putting these faux florals. These, I believe, I picked up at jo Joanne Fabrics or Hobby Lobby last year, and I feel like they're just so simple, and they look pretty realistic compared to others, which is a big thing for me when using faux florals. Then I did switch out the flowers with some faux cherry blossoms once my other florals died out, the real ones. So let me know what you guys prefer better, the faux cherry blossoms or the real ones. But this now completes part one of my spring decorate. Be sure to follow for part two coming up next week. <music> 